Hey beautiful Leo, welcome to your tarot and oracle reading for whenever you find it. Timing is divine. So this reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, there will be a message here for you. But the energy that I am currently working in is November 2024. So we're going to pull some runes for you Leo family and then we will get some oracle cards and we'll do a life path reading with the star tarot and get clarifiers with the light sea tarot. The, the light seers tarot okay so um the runes that you got here are urus this is a challenge um this is a challenge from the universe set forth to test you for a lot of you um this is overcoming a challenge that's already before you this is also your higher self and having determination and also strong health all right this beautiful rune here is kanos this is a flame or a torch this gives you light in the darkness. So for a lot of you, this is learning something, gaining knowledge, gaining wisdom. Um, this could also be a quest, you know, going on a quest for something um, and, and gaining the ability to light your way with knowledge. And this beautiful rune is called Sawulo. This is sun energy. This brings healing, strength, even life. It's very, very centering, very lucky. Um, this is the source. This is the light of the world. This reflects the sun. So the sun brings also happiness and warmth as well. So this is a season of having both the Kanas and the Sawulu. This and, you know what, with the Auras, I say some of you are going to face a challenge of gaining wisdom and enlightenment in some way to light your way on a quest. Um, with, you know, the Oros is that challenge energy. It's having strength too. And, and again, being in touch with your higher self. But these two together is definitely lighting your path um, on a quest, on a very, very consequential quest. We're going to pull the cards and we're going to see what this is all about. But just knowing that spirit is helping you to light your way is kind of a big deal. You know, that is, to me, very, very poignant. Rarely do I have those two runes together, okay? Spirit, what oracle cards do we have for the Leo family for their month ahead? Whenever they find this reading for one month, what oracle cards will represent oh, beautiful Leo's energy? Oh, that's way too many cards. Sorry, Leo. We just want two. Okay, Spirit, two cards for Leo. Thank you. All right. So you have Sandpiper Spirit, be playful, and Parrot Spirit, watch your words. Both bird cards. Birds also are emblematic of angel energy, obviously with the wings, but also that air energy flying through the air, bringing um, a sense of lightness to you, bringing a sense of ascension and elevation. Sandpiper Spirit says to play. It's okay to play. It's okay to relax. Let your hair down. Um, enjoy this season. Uh, because perhaps um, the next season or the, in times to come, you won't have an opportunity to be as playful. So drink it up as you can. Gather ye rosebuds while ye may. And parrot spirit, watch your words. You know what? Know that words are spells, especially spells that you place on yourself. So only say positive words about yourself and about your life. So if you find yourself Please just be mindful of this, okay? If you find yourself saying something like, I can't do this, this is hard, this never works out, anything like that, or even focusing on things that you, that don't feed your soul. You know, right now in the States, we're, we're facing um, an upcoming election, presidential election, and so a lot of people are kind of glued to the TV and just letting the media feed them, getting their nourishment from the mainstream media um, or non-mainstream media, which isn't actually, actually um, feeding your soul, okay? So watch your words, meaning the words that you say and also the words that you take in, all right? All right, that looks good. All right, now we're going to get three cards for your path ahead and three advice cards. Thank you, Spirit. Two more for beautiful Leo's path ahead. Thank you. So you have Justice, Five of Pentacles, and Four of Cups. This is your path. And what advice do we have for the Leo family? 
What advice do we have for Leo for the month ahead? One more. Right. Beautiful. You have actually four cards of advice. Right. So we're going to put these in order. The sun. I love that. I love that the sun came out and you have the sun room. You know? Um, lean into the good vibes that the universe is giving you right now. This is a time to be happy. You know, really. Oh, wow, you have five cards. Knight of Wands. This is follow your passion. Be bold. Um, don't be afraid. Go after what you want. It's time for activation. The Sun card also activates you. Ace of Swords is also an activation. This is um, gain that wisdom, that, that, that light of spirit that gives you wisdom and understanding. Do some research, do some learning, something like that. Eight of Cups. And lastly, Seven of Pentacles. Oh, that's a lot of advice. You know, this is very unusual, beautiful Leo. Spirit has a lot to say to you. All right. So just as an overall energy for your month, month ahead, Justice card, Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups. This is Justice card brings balances the, the um, scales here, right? Anywhere where your heart is heavier than a feather, Justice is going to help you to balance that. So um, with the Justice card, it's kind of karma. You know, this is this is a strong energy of the universe, making sure that um, everything is is balanced in your life. Maybe not everything, but in a relationship, things will be balanced in um, your uh the way that you perhaps earn money or spend your resources will be balanced. You know, in some way, there will be a rebalancing and that could lead to a restructuring. I'm seeing with the five of pentacles and the four of cups. All right. So it's one way that this could play out with the justice card is you've been working really hard for a really long time and, you know, not making as much money as you deserve. And all of a sudden you start making more money. Conversely, if you've been um, f receiving some windfalls, right, or payments that perhaps were overpaid, um, the universe can, um, I'm sorry to say, for some of you beautiful Leos, reduce that from your income. You know, just it's, you know, it's going to be different for each of you. But in this is, this is going to play out in different areas of your life, you know. Um, in relationship, if you're giving more than you're receiving, then you could find yourself not in that relationship anymore because universe wants you to give and receive an equal measure, you know. And I, I see that for some of you, Leos, because you have the five of pentacles and the four of cups here. And you have eight of cups in your advice, which is walking away from something that doesn't serve you, whether it's a job, a relationship, a business, a living situation, community, it could be anything. Um, and you may already have an idea of what, what I'm talking about here. Yeah? But Five of Pentacles is a need to change the way that you spend your resources or um, consume in some way. It's a need to change also how you're creating your, um, cr creating with your resources. The fives are where we make a shift, where, where we make adjustments. So justice card coming before an adjustment is important. You could find yourself in, in a doctor's office and the doctor says you're pre-diabetic. You really need to lose weight. That's really a good example of this kind of energy. Justice leading the five of pentacles. Five of pentacles is not a particularly uncomfortable energy and neither is the four of cups but it is and we will get clarifiers for these but it, it is an energy of um you need to make a change for i mean for a lot of you you need to spend less you're going to find yourself with the justice card in debt um so you need to tighten your belt on on what you're spending with the five of pentacles you know five of pentacles is your coin it's also your resources. So making adjustments in that way is eating less, spending less, consuming less, that kind of thing, right? Or, you know, less, uh, spending less over here so you could spend more over here where, where it makes more sense for you, you know, eating less um, sugars, for instance, and, 
and eating more broccoli, for instance, you know, to, to stay with the food example. This is not necessarily a weight thing for, for all of you beautiful Leos. This is just an example, okay? And then the Four of Cups is, this becomes very easy for you very, very quickly. So if you're going on a diet because the doctor told you that you are pre-diabetic, right? You're shifting how you, um, how you consume food. You will come to um, not desire sugar anymore. With the Four of Cups, you've changed how you feel about something. Here, you've changed how you um, work with something, how you manage some resource. And here, you've changed how you feel about some resource. This would be a very easy time for you to quit smoking, to quit unhealthy things, to quit unhealthy relationships, to quit um, an unhealthy job even. And by quitting an unhealthy job with the with the justice card, I mean, goodness gracious, do we need some clarifiers? Because this really is a very, very wide open energy. But if you quit a job because it's unhealthy for you or it's not good for you or you're not getting the resources that you want, you may not necessarily get another job right away that pays you more money or something like that, but you won't care. You won't want it. You will be content with just knowing that you're doing what's right for you. You will find yourself in alignment. You know, you need to find yourself aligned. In the justice card, one of the main messages of the justice card a lot of people miss is look how aligned she is the sword is perfectly in balance and this card is perfectly symmetrical right so is this card and that's unusual for a tarot card so there is a symmetry that you're going to find in your life as within so without as above so below um you will um find peace with in in many cases less Right. And here you have the sun and the moon here, the sun and moon in perfect balance, kind of an eclipse energy. And here you have that beautiful sun energy right behind you. So as your path moves along, there's less moon, which is kind of darkness and more sun, which is light and ease and that uplifting energy of the birds that I talked about, that ascension energy. You know, there's just peace coming for you, but it comes after cutting something out that or shifting something that's not helping you, that's not giving to you um, as you give to it or as you deserve or as spirit wants it to, basically. All right. Now, again, we'll get clarifiers, but let's look at your advice cards first. The sun and knight of wands, this is bold, bright, wild energy. And look at the visuals in both of these. This um, flower here in the center of the sun is a sunflower, and it's got sunflowers all around. And it's re reflected beautifully in the energy of this like solar wheel right here. This is uh, focus on the sun. Sunflowers look at the sun when it rises, and they face the sun as the sun turns all the way until it sets. So it's staying optimistic, watching your words, you know, um, watching your energy. Stay bold and bright too. Shine, shine forth. For a lot of you, don't hide your energy. Let others see your beautiful self. Time to shine. Ace of Swords. You know, we'll just take we'll take this one. Look. Ace of Swords is look for more information, do some investigation, be open to wisdom and messages from spirit. Right? Um, the clouds are parting and you see this bright sun energy here as well. So, you know, uh, but the swords really is um, your crown chakra. You know, it's stay open to messages from spirit. And by staying optimistic with that beautiful sun energy and the sunlight, um, just, you know, um, being being positive, keep, keep keeping an air of positivity and staying away from people that aren't positive. Again, you know, not watching the news. I just keep getting that. Don't open yourself up to to lower vibrations by, by staying high vibe, you'll be getting messages from spirit. Spirit is trying to communicate with you. But when you're filling your ears up with other people's words or, you know, some other data, uh, there's no, your, your, your receiver is closed to spirit. So spirit wants to pierce through the veil. So open up to spirit. And Eight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Cups is walk away from what no longer serves. 
in the original Rider Waite Smith version of the Eight of Cups card, um, somebody is walking away from eight spilt and broken cups behind them. Cups that they once loved, that once nourished them, that they once felt very passionate about. It takes courage to walk away from something like that. You feel invested. You know, eight cups is a lot. So there has been a lot of emotion uh, behind relationships, ideas. You know, may, maybe if it's a job you're walking away from, it's a job that you went to school for. It's a career that, you know, you worked hard to get, um, that you were proud of it at one point. You know, your family may, may, may have been proud of you. You know, you may have enjoyed that status. You know, I'm getting lots and lots of different messages for you beautiful Leos. But walk it, walk, feel free to walk away from that with the Knight of Wands. Be bold and brave and trust, trust in, trust in spirit. Um, that walking away from that will free your garden to start growing more. Free spirit to start um, growing your harvest again, I'm getting. The Seven of Pentacles is a point very much like the Five of Pentacles where you're reevaluating your your pentacle situation, which in in general is your densified physical manifestation, your coins, you know, or your resources, right? Or where you live, you know, your 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 place of um your your land holdings, you know, your place of where you wake up and and, and go to sleep. That is your ultimate resource, right? So, and, and your community is another resource. So, you know, walk away from what doesn't serve and trust in a new dream. She's growing a beautiful harvest by focusing on her imagination. She's imagining these beautiful rainbow of horses that fly in the sky. So that's a lot. Horses that are rainbow colored, also flying in the sky. That's big dreams. You know, that's that's dare to be bold kind of dreams, right? And that's what she's holding in her mind, in her vibration in order to manifest it down here. Watch your words. You know, I can do this. Um, the, I am loved, loving, and lovable, and the universe wants me to be happy. Follow your heart. R what do you really want with, you know, with this heart chakra open here, right? What do you really want? And let, walk away from what you don't and trust for what you do, you know? So these are three distinct messages that we will look at with our clarifying cards, all right? Spirit, let's please clarify the cards on the table for the beautiful Leo family for the month ahead. Let's clarify Leo's path first. Thank you. Three cards for Leo's path ahead. Thank you, Spirit. One more. Okay. Justice is clarified with the star. Five of Pentacles is clarified with two of Pentacles. And four of Cups is clarified by nine of Pentacles. I love it. I love it. Now let's clarify Leo's advice cards. Let's clarify the cards on the table for the month ahead for beautiful Leo. All right, so this isn't how we do it, Spirit. Okay, this isn't how we do it. I'm going to ask for a clarifier for this pile, this card, and then this pile. All right. So let's stay clear, Spirit, for Leo. Let's clarify the sun and the knight of wands. Thank you. Eight of cups again. Walking away from what no longer serves. Let's clarify the ace of swords. Thank you. Justice again. Maintaining balance. Sword of truth. Opening to wisdom following what you know is right. And then clarifying the seven of pentacles and the eight of cups, the three of wands, the future opening before you. I love it. Okay. So justice clarified with the star card. The star card is guiding you and it's also healing you and it's showing you how to shine your light. And for some of you, Leos, how to become a star. And I definitely get that. Because this Justice card is very unusual. This Justice card has a peacock behind her, or peacock energy, peacock spirit. So daring to shine brightly, daring to shine brightly. This is a big deal with these two cards together. This is 
for some of you beautiful Leos, this is your path ahead for the month ahead. Justice is um, making it so that you will shine brightly. Um, maybe you've created content for a long time. Maybe you're on YouTube and you've been making videos and your audience has been small, right? Justice and Star Card will say your audience is going to grow. Your influence is going to grow. You've put the work and you've put the time and you've gotten better. Spirit wants your message to be heard because you're speaking for spirit. You're serving humanity, that kind of thing, especially with the Star Card, right? There's healing in your message. Spirit wants to get that, that message out, you know? Um, this is beautiful energy for you beautiful leos moving forward um really really shining bright you have the two sun or you know bright light uh runes up here as well and the sun card you know br shine your beautiful bright soul as brightly as you can because you came here to serve spirit in that way right big deal Five of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is managing your resources. It's keeping things balanced and in check. You know, it's it's learning how to, when you're juggling, when you're first learning how to juggle, you can only juggle two items, right? And then after you get good at juggling those, you can bring some an, an, one more item in until you get proficient with that and then another item. So there here is a sense of proficiency in learning how to manage your resources or, like I said before, your consumption, your intake or output in some way or both, you know. So this is getting good at business, getting good at your job, getting good at uh, managing, um, like I said, your diet or, you know, it, it, it feels like emperor energy where you're creating a schedule, a budget, a plan. Put, 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 putting it down on paper and making it so that you can somehow do a better job with the two of pentacles, two of pentacles and the, and, and the seven of pentacles down in your advice. This is learning how to um, grow more, how to make more. And then the four of cups with the nine of pentacles, this energy of I'm okay, I'm, a, I'm in alignment and I'm okay with where I am. I've made changes that's, that, that are soul satisfying, even though it may not be super exciting on the outside, clarified with the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is like an entrepreneurship energy. It's also a hermit energy in many ways. The original, the major arcana nine card is the hermit card. And the hermit card is very mature, very experienced, very wise in some area. Right. And so the nine of pentacles is mature and experienced and wise in the area of your earth element with what it is that you are growing with what it is that you are making. Um, so, again, that's why it's often seen as the entrepreneur card. But it can also be I'm alone in relationship now and I'm OK with that. You know, I'm content. I'm in alignment with myself. I've cut somebody off who is unhealthy for me in my life. So that gives me peace. And look, I'm opening up again, opening up to the wisdom of spirit with that beautiful bird card again as well, you know, and messages from the angels and from your God's guides and cards and receiving that message because it's telling you which of these coins to pick, right? And you are harvesting as you are guided, which this is spirit co-creating with you and showing you how to do it to, to, to the most um, efficient way possible or the most op optimized way possible, you know, so this is beautiful co-creative energy. Um, this doesn't just have to be alone at work, um, you know, like a, as an entrepreneur or alone in relationship. This could also be living alone, you know, f f finding that moving out of one house and going someplace where you can have peace, right, is going to work better for you, you know. Um, really this just energy of aloneness is just saying I am self-sufficient in some way and that's going to help me grow. And I love that. So the eight of cups, that energy of walking away from what no longer serves is clarifying the sun card and that knight of wands. So that sun card and knight of wands is I know what I'm doing. I know where I'm going. I'm bold and I'm brave enough to do it. Be bold and brave enough to walk away from whatever it is that's holding you back. You know, trust 
that the eight cups here, most of them are, are sunk or sinking. This one's going to sink, right? These seem like wonderful, wonderful resources and assets to someone. But you got to cut your losses and just walk away sometime. Again, toward the sun. Walking away toward the sun. That's wild. So something in your present circumstances or in your past was blocking you from the sun. Like you had your back to, to, to the sun in order to face it, right? The spirit doesn't want that for you anymore. Face the sun. Ace of Swords, clarified with the Justice cards. You have the Justice card twice. So this is a message for some of you, Leos. If you have a case, an arbitration, some type of ruling um, that's pending right now, this will be found in your favor with the Sun card and all this Sun energy here and the Ace of Swords. You'll get word or a message, Ace of Swords, that justice has been done in your favor, you know, a decision has been made that will benefit you, that will help to free you in some way as well for a lot of you, you know. Um, but also, this is just verifying this message over here, right? Um, trust that justice is being done on your behalf. Like, again, if you've put a lot of work in, you're going to have stardom for some of you, or you are going to shine your light bright. So shine like the peacock on this other justice card here. You know, this is your advice card. And then the three of wands is clarifying the seven of pentacles and the eight of cups. And the three of wands, you know, look at the energy of the eight of cups in this deck, right? And the three of wands in this deck. She is facing the future, facing the sun. Here she has torches and that's the canas and, and energy here, the torch, right? And here she has the sun. So interesting. So you have both those runes of light here. So this is all Father speaking to you and just saying, face the light, follow the light, be the sunflower. Look at the light as it rises, at the sun as it rises, follow it through the sky, follow it all the way till it sets. You know, and the three of wands is the world opening up for you. It's making your first move through the portal that's opened for you. The Two of Wands is a portal, and the Three of Wands is you um, getting the courage to walk through for for some of you. Um, navigating, planning, you know, it's taking out a globe or a map and deciding um, which way you're going to go. Here she, she she's about to surf, and she needs to wait until the waves rise up for her, right? So... Uh, watch and wait and you really get that energy of watch and wait with the seven of pentacles you know she is watching here that's where her harvest is happening and she's waiting here she's waiting for um things to grow to their fullness in order to harvest them and she's waiting for the waves to reach their full peak before she can ride them right so this is saying this isn't going to happen for you overnight. There will be something that you want to manifest in your life that you're going to have to wait for. Trust spirit. It will come. Okay. Trust spirit. Wait. Watch and wait. And it will come. Okay. So that is a beautiful message for you, beautiful Leo. Truly, truly inspiring. Um, please let me know in the comments what is happening for you. Like what is this sun energy? right? What is not serving you? And what are you waiting for? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being you. And I'll see you next time. Peace.